Hey, fellow crypto wild people, this is CoinPicker.us giving you another rundown of the crypto market today. Not all that great news. As you can see, we've got um, some red ink going down here. Actually, not as bad as, as, as could have been predicted, but um, it's essentially what I said. We're in a trending zone right now where we're not going to see a major slam to the floor and we are not going to see anything rocket to the moon. Now, a couple of ones that I pointed out, so Bitcoin, obviously Ethereum, sort of in the same boat. Uh, Solana was doing extremely well, has now dropped considerably. Um, I think its recent high was 106, something in that area. And another one that's just crushing it is Chainlink. Now, Chainlink is running opposite to the market, which is always outstanding. One of the reasons is, is that Chainlink has an official business reason to use the Link token. Uh, a lot of the other ones don't quite have that have that same support. So Chainlink, I think, is going to be good for quite a while, very strong. Um, one that I was also looking at was Zeta Chain, and we're, we're going to take a look at that in a little bit here. But let's go ahead and do a chart analysis to see where we're at in terms of longer term perspective. So when we're going to get out of these doldrums, basically. So let's go onto the charts. And what we see here, one second, we'll get it all out, is that um, we're in the we're in the no man zone. So we could go up, we could go down here, but it's essentially a trending area. And these two lines, this is the coin picker indicator. Um, this is the CCI, which I happen to use. I can use a bunch of other ones, but these tend to do a fairly good job. This is saying that in likelihood we are going to head lower from here. Um, we're not we're not going to dramatically go lower, but we are going to head lower. That's what this is indicating. Uh, this also has some uh, a lower tendency. What is the lower range we could hit on Bitcoin? Mm, I would say we could go down to the 40,000 range. Um, I don't really necessarily see us dropping all the way back into the 36s. But um, by the time we do that, we're going to start getting back into this region, which is a great buy zone. So uh, depending on where you purchase your Bitcoin, if you purchased it up the recent high around the 46 mark, you might want to bounce out and not ride it all the way down. If you've got time, you can ride it all the way down. I personally am not selling out. I'm just staying in. And I really am just looking at this as a indicator of what the overall market's going to do. Now, this is on a daily basis. If we go down to a snap down to a two hour basis, two hour basis is saying that we are about to spring back. We're about to recover significantly. We're going to have a big move up in the not very distant future, or a good size move up in the not very distant future, which is great. But the big the big deal is that the way things work is that now on the weekly basis, we moved up pretty high and we're um, on a downward trend somewhat. So wider trend, longer trends drive eventually the shorter trends. So even if you do get in a two hour or let's see what the one hour looks like. Uh, one hour is looking like a spring back as well. It looks like we're about to get, uh, in fact, my indicator says we still have some room to go on the downside um, before we begin that reversal. So the reversal is not about ready to happen. But in the two hour range, same thing, not ready to happen quite yet. But in the not very distant future, it will. We'll get a, a pretty nice reversal. But in terms of the day, uh, we still have room to maneuver lower. So that's Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Ethereum real quick. Um, Ethereum USD, we're going to go US dollar. And Ethereum is sort of the same boat, although a little bit lower. Uh, it did have a nice bounce here, but sort of the same trending boat. And this indicates that it is going to drop lower. That's what it looks like. That's on a daily basis. Let's go to two hour basis. Two hour basis is definitely dropping lower. Now, we are in a reversal zone. We are in a reversal zone. So we could get a pretty strong reversal from Ethereum in the not very distant future. That's good. It confirms what BTC is doing. Let's look at Solana. Um, let's see here. Solana USDT. Spot. We can use spot. Okay. We are also entering a reversal zone. Now, my indicator says we still have more room to go. Um, until this green line reverses, which you can't really see here, until that green line reverses, we still have some room to go down. Uh, CCI says, yes, we're in a reversal zone, but it's not super strong. So all these are agreeing with each other. We should get a reversal. And depending on how low we go here, that reversal might might have some snap to it. I mean, we're in the same region where we got a move from 93 up to 102. That's a pretty nice pop. 
So I would say we're not quite there yet, but we're in the two hour zone. We're not quite there yet, but we're not far away on a daily basis. Uh, we definitely have some room to go down still on a daily basis. So if you're a short term trader, in fact, we are heading down right now on a daily basis. Definitely. Now let's take a look at one of my le my most favorite tokens right now. Um, it's actually a real business. I mean, Chainlink is serving a very useful business. Let's see what we got here. OK, so we still have room to roam up. <laughs> Um, although CCI says it may, uh, it's overextended. Mine says it still has room to go up. And that's basically what's been happening. We're about to get a little visit here. Thank you, little buddy. <laughs> Thank you. He's, he's an excellent analyst himself. He just wants to get in on the game. So we still have some room to go. And according to this, we haven't reversed hard down yet. Uh, the good thing is CCI is burning off some of its, uh, its excess range, which means that we might just... Based on this, we still have some room to go up um, and we're not over, we're not overbought. And that's why I really like my indicator that I developed because I got a lot of false signals from CCI. Um, but that indicates to me that we do have some settling. Basically, I think we're going to top out here on a daily basis at some point. But let's see how we're doing on a two hour basis. Two hour basis, still plenty of room to roll. This is definitely looking like it's going down. But on my indicator, we still have some room to roll, room to roll although we are beginning a re slight reversal trend. So unlike the other uh, cryptocurrencies where there was a major bounce up coming, I would say we might have a major, uh, we have either a resting place or a slight reversal. Um, nothing major on Chainlink. I think it's gonna trend at a really nice zone. I would say that zone is probably gonna be over 17. So, and that move began in the 14, 15, 15 range. So it's gonna be a nice resting place where we can recoup Re, uh, recapture some potential momentum. Now we're going to check Zeta Chain, which I've invested in, and um, it's you know it's not doing well, but that's fine. So on oh, actually on a two-hour basis, it bounced up. It the data there's just not enough data on two-hour basis. Four-hour basis again, not enough data. Let's see what we have on a daily basis. Yeah, we don't really have enough data to see what's going on here. What about an hour? Um, hourly basis. It's actually looking like eh, it's still going to continue down. It doesn't really have a lot of uh, direction yet. Um, earlier, I, uh, in fact, I made a video right around here where I said it's going to reverse, and it did. It went, it bounced up, and now it's just sort of in a trend. I think it's, I think it looks like it's going to be in a trend for a while. I don't really have enough data on this. I happen to like the project, so I invested it on a fundamental basis. Now, what's interesting is that if you were to look, so we're looking at crypto and we're th treating crypto, you know, normally most crypto analysts treat crypto analysts strictly in a crypto sense. They don't look at everything else. But if you look at the futures, everything is trending down. All the commodities for the most part have trended down other than gas. And there was a gas explosion at a, um, at some refinery. So what's happening is we're getting a tightening of liquidity. And normally the tightening of liquidity will drive all asset prices lower, including the stock market, which hasn't been happening, but it, it should. The deal is though, while we're getting tightening of liquidity, we're also issuing a ton of debt, which would drive the currency. And crypt, uh, crypto is somewhat of an alternative to the currency. So they're, they're dueling forces. The the uh, increase, the high uh, interest rates, and which drops liquidity versus the decrease in the value of the dollar. So dueling forces, and basically that's what you're seeing in the market. You're seeing it go up and down and in a range bound. Which one of them is going to win? Well, eventually, especially in election year, you're going to see the um, interest rates reverse. The federal funds rate is going to reverse. And they've been talking about it. They said, well, we're not going to do it anytime soon, but they probably will. And that could really rocket launch Bitcoin. Now, people are saying, well, the, the halving is coming up and that's going to drive it. No, we've had multiple halvings and it hasn't, hasn't been a game changer. Everybody knows about it. It's baked in the cake. It's the, it's the actual liquidity available in the market where people are much more willing to take on risk assets. And crypto is considered one of the highest risk assets, meaning it's one of the most risky. It's even considered more, way more risky than NASDAQ. So that is my take on it. We're in a trending area. I did, I did point out some uh, that we are on a two hour basis looking for a move up here. 
but on a daily basis and on a weekly basis, we are looking for a, a lower trend slightly. So that's the wrap up. Um, Coinpicker.us. Uh, I also put a link in the in the bottom description for an exchange that, or I'm going to put a link in the bottom description for an exchange that uh, is really friendly for beginners, for new traders, where if you have to call them up and ask for questions, it's an exchange you might want to check out. Um, it's called H2, I think it's H2 Crypto or something like that. But anyway, that is it for now. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you tomorrow.